give you guys some good news. We are going live on Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That would be 12 o'clock Eastern on Gemra. We look forward to seeing you there. 30 minute full body workout. All you guys need to do is find a little space, show up, and we got you covered for the rest of the time. No equipment. We're gonna do it in our house. I'm sure you're gonna be doing it in your house unless you've got a backyard. And we'll see you there. Hey guys, it was a success. There's actually toilet paper here. So, this is promising. Okay, so I got the toilet paper. We're off to a good start. Day three, quarantine. Okay, so second great thing today is Starbucks is still open, so I'm taking advantage. I'm getting something I would never get, an iced caramel macchiato. I also got um, cereal something I haven't probably gotten since I was like, I don't know, 18, so it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so I made it through Ralph's, which was awesome. I got everything I needed, so they did seem pretty stocked up. I am headed to my one client today who is super committed. We're gonna go outside, keep our social distancing, but still get our cardio in. And then I'm taking advantage of having the free time that I get to spend with Wes, my fiance, which we don't usually get a ton of free time together because I work a lot of hours and so does he and we have very different schedules. So gonna do that. Maybe we'll try to do yoga together, do some meditation, all the things that we say we wanna have in our regular lives that we don't end up having time to do that. So that is going to be today. Day three quarantine, bright side, look it up. So does anyone else feel like they don't even know what to do? I just feel like I've just spent three or four hours sitting on the couch trying to upload a video, but the internet won't work. And then the storage on my phone is too full. So then I spend an hour deleting photos and videos and trying to work the iCloud, which I have no idea how to use. So I guess I'll definitely be using a lot of this quarantine time to work on my tech skills. Um, I haven't even turned the TV on today. I just feel like unexplainable, I guess. I feel I should be more productive, but then I kind of sit there and stare up into space wondering what is going on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna film a side lying booty glute workout for you guys so you get a little burn while you can't get to the gym. You won't need any equipment, so I'll see you there. Hi guys, so I know that we are all stuck at home without a gym and probably not much equipment. So I put together a little sideline booty routine that you won't even really need a yoga mat for. So if you don't have a yoga mat, no sweat, you can do it on the wood, the carpet. Um, let's get to it. So lay down on your left side. You can support your head with your hand. You can lay all the way down, so whatever's better. And then bring your knees up towards your hip creases. And stick your tailbone out behind you. Lift your bottom waist up. There's a little air tunnel here. We're going to do big knee circles to start. You'll lift your right knee up towards your chest, up towards the ceiling, down and around. And I want you to have a nice tight squeeze in that right glute the whole time. As you're circling your leg around, your top hip will need to stay nice and still. Especially when you lift the leg up towards the ceiling, make sure your top hip does not roll back in space. I hope you guys are hanging in there through this self-quarantine. It's certainly a weird time, but we'll get through it. Okay, give me four more in this direction. It's gonna be a slow burn, but you have all the time in the world, so there's really no rush. Right here. And then one more. Knee to chest. Lift it up. Circle it around. And then let's reverse. You'll bring the knee down, up towards the ceiling, up towards your chest, and around. And the core here. And make sure you're breathing through it. It's a good time to practice some meditation and some pranayama, some breath work as well during, during this quarantine to keep us all safe. We're going to go five more. Five. Make sure you're squeezing that tush. Last four.
it into our beloved clams. Heels together, lift your feet up, keep your heels connected. Turn your top knee open, fully release a big range of motion. This is another one that when the knee lifts up, make sure that right hip does not roll back. You want to imagine your low back is right up against a wall and it has no space to roll back behind you. Move with control. I don't want to see any rocking of your body. Nice, slow, controlled movement. And four more right here. Keep those heels up. Last three. And two. And one more. And then you'll lower the legs down. Turn your top knee in, your foot up. And then switch. Foot down, knee up. Now make this as big of a rotation as you can. So feet as far apart from each other, and then knees apart as far as far, as far apart as each other. Can't speak anymore, I guess. I miss all my classes so much and my clients. I'm like having a little bit of withdrawal, I would say. So right, let's do five more of these for five. Knee in, knee up. Four. Start to feel it for three. Last one, hold the knees together, extend the leg up, toes and knee will still point down on the extension, flex your foot, squeeze your bum, and then tap the knees down, feet up. Good, big rotation, do not let that foot start to collapse down, keep it lifted. Resist the movement. Let's go for six. You can start to get a burn without any equipment. It's definitely doable. Four. And three. We'll still be summer ready for two, even if we can't go anywhere. Last one. Okay, heels together and lift it. Lift your top knee up, pulse it back. Squeeze to lift. Let's go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, second set. We're going ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, third set. You know Joseph Pilates says things in threes, so we gotta stick with that. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Bam, let's do the other side. Okay, roll it right over. On our right side, bring your knees up towards the line of your hips and then arch your low back. Give your tailbone a little pop out behind you and lift your bottom waist up. You're going to start with those big knee circles. You'll bring your left knee to your chest, circle it up to the sky, and bring it all the way around. But as I'm doing this, I'm keeping a nice tight squeeze in that left glute. If you have a hard time connecting with those muscles, sometimes a tactile cue, like pushing your hand into the muscle that you should be feeling engaged, helps. So try that here. And make sure you're breathing through it. Inhale as the knee comes up. And it exhales the knee circles back and around. So let's go five more. And try not to collapse in your waist to make sure those core muscles are engaged. No rush here. Plenty of time to work our legs. Right, one more all the way around. And then let's reverse this circle. So we're going to go down, knee up, and knee to chest and around. Get your kids to do this with you if you're all trapped at home together. Maybe your husband or fiance has never tried Pilates. This is a great opportunity. <laughs> there, give me five more of these. First five. Oh, what? 
lift the feet, open that top knee up, squeeze your tush, and lower it down. Make sure your feet stay high, heels stay connected. Every time you press your knee open, you want a little pause to squeeze that outer leg. day I had an emergency light come up on my car it said turn your car off immediately on my way after get, getting toilet paper um, so I brought my car in to the dealership and it was not the cheapest fix I'm looking at three to four thousand dollars because my head gasket blew so I mean it's life but it just is um, crappy timing you could say but Hopefully that will get all dealt with. I am home now in my rental car that I guess I won't be driving much since we're quarantined. And um, yeah, we'll see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Hey guys, so day four quarantine. I am on the elliptical in my building and unfortunately they just closed the gym. Although I totally understand. So I'm gonna milk this five more minutes on it and then I suppose it truly is home workouts, park workouts, but stay healthy, stay strong and that's the most important part. I will be posting some more videos that you can do at home without any equipment and I'll see you there. Well, they officially closed the gym in our building. So, oh man, this is such a bummer, kind of a scary world. I can't believe that just things like going to the gym and going to a workout class, which I love. I know it's challenging for some people to be motivated to work out, but it's like once it's taken away from you, you kind of want to do it more. Like she walked in to close the gym down and I was on the elliptical and I was like, can I just have six more minutes? Um, not that I'm crazy. Uh, I exercise a normal amount, but it was just like knowing that I can't be on the elliptical anymore or use a treadmill. It's a bummer. Um, I guess we'll be outside, workouts, walk the park, run around our neighborhood, do some workout videos. 
So I will see you guys a little bit later in day four quarantine. How are you feeling about them closing our gym and our building? I'm gonna find ways. You're gonna what find ways. About. <laughs> so I go, we just go to the next option. So Target, Amazon. I have stuff stored around different areas. All I'm I have are 10 pound now. dumbbells. Yeah, I'm calling in favors. I gotta get my stuff. Guys, look at this awesome picture Wes got printed of, of us in Sequoia National Park. All of our friends are in it. I don't, Wes, are you in this? I don't think you are. You took it. Oh boy. Okay, well, the search for weights begins. So a lot of people ask me what is the best morning routine. This is basically what I make in the morning for my shake. Uh, we're out of almond milk, so I'm gonna use uh, coconut water. Use the kind that you that you keep cold. So I did, I'm gonna pour the whole thing in here actually, because I'm gonna make, you're gonna have some, right? Yeah, I'll have some. Yeah, you're gonna have some. <laughs> Uh, so I use this collagen peptide whey protein from my friends over at Human End. This is probably some of the best quality protein. It's raised from New Zealand cattle. So I do two scoops. I'll do three scoops of that. I do my heart healthy endurance greens, which is basically all my veggies for the day. One little scoop of that. Super good, easy. And then I do one big scoop of almond butter here. Best part is this. Yeah, I agree totally. <laughs> and then I do a cherry, right? Why your cherries go? Muscle repair and keep you from getting sore, right? Yeah, and then blueberries, antioxidants. I just, this is all frozen organic fruit here. Plus, it just tastes good to be honest. I mean, that's enough fruit. Maybe I'll do a little more. I like them thicker. <laughs> no and pun intended. <laughs> That's how easy it is. That took me less than like 30 seconds. And then- A minute 30, but we won't tell him. Minute 30. And then hey, man. It's pretty good. Bomb. Okay guys, this is our midday meeting. We've had to change it to FaceTime. My girl Danielle and I, we are working on our new business, Top Secret. Um, we have, we used to be meeting at, you know, restaurants, cafes, the Pilates studio, but that's not an option right now. So this is working actually just fine. We're learning a lot about how um, Word documents work. <laughs> So we stay tuned for what happens next. We're out of our house today. We are super excited and thankful for takeout and delivery still being an option. We're at AJ's Tex-Mex Barbecue. We ordered some takeout. Um, apparently they are open. We're super, super thankful. We've been eating food at home all week. Like barbecue in here. Delicious barbecue. It's nice to see other people. How are you? We're gonna keep our social distancing though. Yes. Good. How are you guys? We're well. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. Oh. Hey guys. This is quarantine day um, four or five now. It's starting to kind of become a blur. <laughs> I had some early online clients. I'm whispering because Wes is still asleep. And uh, this is my little setup in the morning. And that little fake kind of plant thing from Home Goods. <laughs> uh, that's my mock studio. And uh, I've had an online business for a little bit, but um, now I'm doing people that actually live in Los Angeles that I can't go to their houses right now, FaceTime and Skype, instead of my online clients who are usually people that didn't live in LA. Um, so that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm excited for all of these live classes. Yoga Works, my favorite teacher, is doing a class. So I'm going to take that this morning. And then I've got more online clients, which I'm super thankful for. And uh, I'm going to film you guys a little workout so you guys can stay fit as well. Hello. Just had about four online clients today. Made myself some lunch let's see what's going on here we've got some granola kiwi yogurt snuck in a little chocolate <laughs> almond butter all the good stuff i'm about to have an online meeting like i did yesterday got my handy yoga box which i don't need for my online meeting but you know i'm always doing yoga there it is <laughs> there's my setup 
So yeah, that's my check-in so far for the day. I'm really looking forward to tonight going to my mom's pizza and wine night, trying to stay sane. She lives like a mile away from me and we're still allowed to see our family. So I'm thankful for that. So that's what I'll be up to this afternoon. I'll send you a little video of that. I'll see you there. This is our crazy bag of veggies we got from a farm. Look at this, this is amazing, for $30. We got the hookup. What farm is it? Ooh. Look at the butter lettuce, that's my favorite. And the beets, and then we have carrots, and then, ooh, you can make something out of that. Like Gail, you're definitely gonna have to assist us with what to make. Oh, turn up, turn up, Cottonwood Farm. Cottonwood Urban Farm, thank you. Man, we're gonna be set this week. Fresh produce. Ooh, in the house. You can't find it. Organic, <laughs> organic, yeah. And organic? Amazing. My mom cheese. is giving pizza options. Mozzarella, burrata, parmesan. For veggies, you have That's tomato, nice. cheese, and uh, spinach, mushroom, onion. <laughs> and then we got a pizza maker over here. When you can't go out, you stay in and you buy a pizza maker. Do, do not lick the crust. Wes grew up making pizzas, actually. His parents owned a pizza restaurant in right out the side of Gaithersburg, right? Outer side, yeah. Outer, outer side. Outer side. Outer side. Called Lino's Pizza. They still have them nowadays. Oh my gosh. That's oh, so we good. do pizza top right here. So, yeah. Friday night, staying in, oh, but making fun. the best of it. Good to be with my family. Mm -hmm. Making the pizzas. Too big. It's going to shrink. See how they turn out. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. I feel like that has to come longer. Huh? Right? So, basically, it's much perfect. This is what happens when they take your gym away. <laughs> Make a new one. <laughs> what, do you okay, what are you watching? What movie are you watching? Any given Sunday. Great movie. That's an interesting movie to watch and lift weights too. What? It's the best. How could you do? Oh my God, Wes, I love you. Okay, in other news, I'm cooking in the kitchen. Wes got me some of my favorite wine. Butter, who doesn't love a good Chardonnay? Let's see what we got going on. Carrots, beet greens, gonna figure out what to do with that. Japanese sweet potato, regular sweet potato. Beets, cooked them for the first time ever. And yes, that's currently what's going on in the kitchen.